Hey, what's going on guys? Rob Rina here, and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to access your high beam, low beam, and side marker lights on your headlamps of your 2013 and up Ford Escapes. So just looking at the front of the light bulb assembly, let's identify which ones are high beam, low beam, and side markers. So your high beam is actually going to be the first one closest to the center grill. That is going to be light bulb number 9005. Your low beam is going to be your standard driving light. That, that part number is going to be H11 or 1255H11. Then your side marker is going to be an incandescent bulb that is numbered 168. And there's a socket component to that as well. That's IP3368. So high beam, low beam, side marker. Looking at the back of your headlamp assembly, you're going to notice these rubber dust boots. This makes sure that no dust and junk from your engine bay gets into your headlamp housing and fogs things up. So what you do, if you want to change these, is just kind of, you don't have to be super gentle with them. Just pull them right off. You're going to notice an inner groove here. There's a lip and that's going to fit along the inside of these when we put them back on. Put them someplace safe. So this is your high beam low beam side marker. Focusing on our high beam right here, we're going to have a, a quarter turn twist lock. You can see a key feature in there. I'm going to take my hand, turn that, and pop it out. So this is your halogen high beam bulb. This is bulb number 9005, 9005. And the bulb does not come out, but the entire piece does. When you go to get a replacement, you're going to pull off this tab here, and the whole thing unplugs, just like that. And in fact, you can see it says Sylvania 9005 on it. So when you go get your replacement bulb, make sure to hold it by the plastic and not by the glass, because the more oils and stuff from your hands that you get on the glass, it attracts any type of dust, and it can burn the bulb out faster. So plug it back in you'll notice that there are keying features right here, here, and here. And those go into the keying features in this metal ring here. So once you're ready, start with it at an angle with it reinserted, and then we're going to quarter turn it back to lock it. Here it click, and see it's back in the original position. And you get your dust boot cover, and put it back in. Now note that the dust boots are not particular to high beam or low beam. Either one will cover either area, so you don't have to worry about keeping track of those. All right, so now here we are looking at our low beam assembly. Again, it's gonna be another twist lock. So I'm gonna reach in, twist it like that until it comes free. Then you have this clasp on the back here that we're gonna undo. So this is your halogen bulb for your low beam assembly, and that's an H11 bulb. Again, all of this comes with the 90 degree plastic elbow and the bulb attached. It's not just a bulb. So handle it by the plastic and not the glass, again, to keep your oils off the glass. Get your replacement bulb if you need it. Pay attention to the keying features. The three keying features on this one are metal. One, two, and three right there. So I'm going to go to reinstall it. You see the key features that are around the socket. Make sure it's in place. And now I just need to twist it back to lock it in place. And that's ready to go. I'm going to put my dust boot back on that one. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to focus on the side marker, which is that gray connector right there. Now this one is also another twist to remove, but this one has a bulb in it and a socket. So I'm going to twist away from you. It comes loose. All right, so this is your side marker light bulb and socket component. If this is not working for some reason, first you can try and replace the bulb. The bulb number is 168. This can pop right out. 
you'll notice it has bent over uh, metal contacts, which contact these copper pins here. If you've replaced your 168 bulb and it's still not working, you can try replacing this whole socket assembly, which if you press this tab right here, comes apart. This socket assembly is part number IP3368. So again, if your bulb is brand new and your side marker is not working, try replacing the socket as well. All the links are gonna be included in the description below as well as our storefront. So once everything's ready to go to be installed, pay attention to your keying features which are on the outside of the socket component. And remember, it's going back here where you see that light coming through. Wait till the blue rubber washer is fully flush before you go twist it back. And there you go. Okay, well that about finished up our video for accessing and replacing all the bulbs on our standard halogen light setup for a 2013 Ford Escape. Again, the bulb numbers are listed in the description below as well as links on Amazon and as well to our storefront. Anything that you get through our Amazon store does not cost you anything extra, but it does go to support the channel, so we really appreciate that. As well as if you thought this was helpful, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm that helps us a whole ton as well. Please share this if you know someone trying to replace these bulbs, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Let us know what you think in the comments, and thanks for watching.